Well, hello. Nice to see you all. Welcome. As uh, as you're knowing, I said I was going to react to the healers and the rest of Joe Cat's videos. Joe Cat, Joe Cat in Espanol. Ah, <laughs> uh, um. Uh, first of all, let me play something. I have wine here because uh, let us say something. <laughs> Healing is easy. I actually started as a healer when I was in quarters. When I met Hauchofen, I got stuck by level when I was leveling a bard as my first class. And I didn't know how to level up quick because, uh, you know, the queues of 40 PS are for half an hour. So, <laughs> nightmare. Nightmare, of course. So, a friend told me, go healer because Healers has less waiting time for a for a queue on or legs and everything. I was okay. <laughs> he didn't tell me about it, the emotional damage you have after this, like full emotional damage, like like that meme, you know, <laughs> that Asian, that Asian meme of the Asian level. Okay, there's healer level of of that of difficulty. So. This is your cat's video, a cat bite to Final Fantasy XIV, healers. Uh, first of all, I don't remember much, but I'm going to, to try my best to explain and analyze it. And thanks for my video of Millie <laughs> DPS. That's really nice. I, I wasn't expecting so much, not even a hundred, but now I have a thousand. So, really, thanks. I love power, and I love feeling powerful. It strokes my bigly wiggly and forces lesser beings to bow down to my awesome might, lest they taste my boot between their gums. Nothing has ever given me the same rush of adrenaline than knowing that everybody has to submit to my whims for their own safety. It makes my brain do the goody good chemicals and allows me to feel as though I have control over this truly unfortunate reality that the universe is slowly careening into an eventual heat death and there's nothing anybody can do about it as we are inconsequential specks in this cruel and uncaring universe. But none of that matters, because look at this, I can pull my party members into a pit that kills them. Yeah, about that, I actually did that thing <laughs> in the same in the same boat exactly uh, because I I wanted to take out a friend that well friend a, a guy that was in and in going to take the attack master and I was fuck come here you little bitch and he died and said you fucking killer and I was no sorry no but yeah some healers have. Got complex. I know some people that are main healer that actually think that the whole party will go apart without them. When in reality, a healer is much replaceable. If you have a bad attitude as a healer, people will replace you. People would want anyone else but you. So please don't don't develop that god complex. It's it's like fucking absurd. There. It's kind of hard, but once you get the gist of it, you don't have to be such a bitch. Like really, I see people saying, no, uh -uh, because I'm the healer, I get to choose what I have to do in this boat. No, sorry, you have to do the mechanics and you have to take care of everyone. You just can't be picky with who you can revive or not. You have to know. It's not your whim, or ah, I'm not going to heal you because you didn't press a uh, protect or uh, anything. You have to heal. Yeah, just please. I hate those healers that have good complaints. But really, I find that hilarious. Welcome to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. <laughs> The greatest power of all is the power to have control over people's lives, which is why the healer is the most likely party member to have a god complex. Right behind main tanks, mentors, and anybody okay, who's wait, a wait, 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 which wait, is wait. why the healers... Yeah, the healers have god complex, that, that, that's true. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I used to have it until I didn't I, I There are people always worse than me. And because... And the tanks can make you suffer too, so... No one has the god complex, actually. No one should. Or the USB. All right. They say I give you five mil HP to fuck off. <laughs> That's a feeling. That's a mood. 
Greenpeace. <laughs> and green DPS, yeah. A friend told me that Scholar is DPS, and I was okay, no, but whatever, guy. I think she gets mad when I tell her she has to kill. Uh, one watch on rotation, yeah. I mean, it's easy. The fucking DPS in here is like easy. Please don't go think, ah, oh, sorry, but uh, it's not a easy. No, it's easy to hit DPS. The hard thing is to keep your MP up because you're wasting all time DPSing instead of killing when you have to, and the tank is dying because of the tank buster and you have to die. Or because you can't manage your resources. And then corruption arc, yeah, every storyline has a little bit of that thing. Um, and this in, in here is always is like, oh, you you are thinking you're good, right? Because you start to be, oh, I'm going to be a hero, I'm going to be good. But you're not. You're going to start getting picky, you're going to start to be snobby, you're going to, to, to say things that you didn't mean to. But you are going to, and please, don't be that guy. And I can have, it's not stupid, yeah. Glamour's fate, damp is forever. So please. <laughs> it's easy to say, oh, I'm, I'm healer because uh, it's, I can, I can heal, uh, but you're stupid, so I can heal your stupid. Yeah, remember you can also be stupid, it's a healer. Isuna can't heal Dump, even for you. You can, but you can heal with, you can use in a Doom. So please, every time you see a Doom, Isuna, especially in Exit, I think it's uh, uh, Omega 4? Omega 4, yeah, in Omega 4 there's Doom. So please, <laughs> you can use the, 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 the stupid of beating that mechanic. Or any mechanic like that has that. Later, I'm going to explain about how to identify this now or not, when to Asian or not, because I think this guy doesn't tell you, and I think it's a must to know. It's the most likely party member to have a god complex right behind main tanks, mentors, and anybody who's an omni crafter. You are the most important person in the party, as you, <laughs> along with the tank, are responsible for keeping the party alive by kissing their boo boos and slapping the bitch who made the boo boo. That's right, as a healer, you do have to deal damage as well. Man, but it's called a healer, and healers are supposed to heal, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong! A healer's job is not necessarily to heal the party, but rather to keep them alive. And yes, there's a difference. There's gonna be a lot of downtime between heals, and you bet you're a flatus rumpus that you're making the fight take longer than it has to if you're just sitting there twiddling your thumb waiting for your next chance to cast cure what do you do when the party's full health what do you do when the party's full health or yeah, just like in 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 melody ps like he said always be casting whether it's uh being a healing or dps always be casting because you are fucking doing nothing and that actually makes everyone feel bad and this is something I learned the, about it in Guild Wars 2, because I played Guardian. Guardian is um, for the expansions and they have oh uh, specializations and everything. Guardian, I used to play it in a tank healer mode, which means I played with, I think it was a maze or anything, and a focus, so I made sure to kill I heal everyone, but I also made sure to always be casting attacks because when I was with the, I think it was uh, the cane or anything. I, I don't remember the name of the weapon. So, uh, you have to always be casting something, attacking, always attack because I don't know. You might even take, make sure that the next mob is quite better than not. Or at least try to, to make sure you are prepared. If you're not casting healer or DPS because there's no mob, prepare yourself. I mean, check your resources, check you can have MP for the next mob. Check that you are okay. Check that no one has fucking any statues. I mean, please. <laughs> for at least, check that they are doing good. If you are checking, for example, please, uh, you see that the Dragoon is eating too many AOEs. 
well, let's move by the next fight. Try to make sure that they don't eat so many AoEs by telling them, if you can, with gently telling them don't be a, a brilliant person, or at least prepare the rescue in any case you see it's going to kill them. Or at least check on a week or anything, uh, the next sand cluster because some dungeon has some clusters, so you don't eat it and die and make everyone doom. <laughs> but yeah, DPS, fucking DPS. Or with the casting something. I don't know, even it's your fucking favorite. Or even halfway up and standing, DPS are bad guys. No, I don't pay your sub. But when the fight takes too long, it starts to rub all up on everybody's nerves. And when you hit end game, it serves you right. When the boss will wipe the party, cause you couldn't beat and rage. Sure, you're for the most part keeping the party alive with a variety of healing utility. Yeah, like this. If you see, for example, you're not a DPS in the. But you see that one party member, it's going to die because they didn't see the mechanic. Rescue them. If you don't know, uh, you have to see someone gets an. A debuff. Well, the best way to know a debuff if you can remove it with Esna is that every debuff that you can remove has a blue line, like a fucking blue line up in the in their symbol. So if you see there's a blue line over that, you can Esna you know that. So Esna you know that, please. <laughs> it's better to not have any debuffs that ah oh, well maybe I want to let it go fade away. Take it out. It's better. But you can take uh boons, uh boons and statues for resin, like the damage downs and everything. In most cases you can't take them out. But I mean every marble and marble uh variant you can take them out. So please if you see someone I don't know in a room by eating too many debuffs, please Use the Asuna like a bitch. I learned that's better than trying to rely to leave them and revive them because the aggro goes to you and you die. <laughs> and the healers, yeah. But the the rescue is going to be useful. You can use it to troll or to be a good person. So I recommend you. If you are with friends, you can troll. But if you are with people that you don't know, or you are not so close with, don't use it for fucking troll. Because that's going to drop them and they are going to kick you out. Only when you are with people that you can trust that they are not going to get mad because you are going to rescue them. And there's a thing about rescue that many people don't tell you. When you receive rescue, you actually disorient <laughs> you're actually really disoriented the first times because you don't know you, your whole camera and everything changes so if you are doing something you are going to be shocked and that window of a second is going to be a nightmare so if you are having in a call always tell them hey i'm going to rescue you and rescue them because if not they are going to be quite annoyed i don't know why but people easily get annoyed by getting rescued I said you have saved their lives, and they just say, "Oh, sorry, thanks, yeah." <laughs> My bad. Forty spells, some regen, some shields, but an equal amount of time you're casting those, you're also throwing in some extra DPS when time allows. Remember, DPSing is just mitigating future damage. Yeah. And if you're able to kill the current wave of dungeon mobs before they deplete the tank's HP, which, by the way, is going to regen to full by the time you reach the next mob pull anyway, what does it matter how low their HP gets? So yes, DPS <laughs> when time allows. When does time allow? Well, I know you're scared of independence and thinking by yourself, but that's going to be a balancing act you'll have to figure out. However, my rule of thumb is the minimum amount of HP a party member has to be at is one. But if that's too scary wary for your widow fingies, ask yourself. Will the enemy's next attack make your party member fall on their ass? If yes, heal so that it doesn't. If no, time to become a glare mage, motherfucker. As long as they're alive and you're clearing the... Yeah, uh, about that. Uh, yeah, you don't get recuperated. You, uh, when you start as a healer, you don't have to, to be so cautious because that's something I learned, by the way. In Guild Wars 2, for example, I, I was really into... I We have to be full. Because uh, I've seen people die in fragments and everything. In, in this game, in Final Fantasy, I learned the bad way that 
sometimes you can let less than half of HP for your tank to take. They can survive. Well, it's not going to survive with the DPS, of course, because if they are eating everything, they're going to die next. Uh, but always check. And it's not only about the amount HP, it's about the bulls. If they have too many bulls, you have to check them more than anything and make sure they are higher than you think. I mean, it's it's relative. It's not... Uh, for example, in this case, uh, if the healer has a vulnerability, I will heal her before they, they get here because they are going to die easily. If they don't have a vulnerability, let them be like this. But uh, don't always risk, don't do that like this, that risky to be at 1 HP because that's, <laughs> that, that's more the, uh, how do you say it, uh, the gun blade. The gunblade thing, the, uh, uh, I don't know, when they shoot the fucking face, like, that's their job, not yours. You have to, they have to mitigate. If they have too many mobs, like, they take, like, three waves of mobs before the boss, and they started to take much more damage, it's their fault if they don't mitigate. They have to mitigate. Don't be a pussy and fucking mitigate because I we can't take the fucking bobs because you are having a heart attack with me because you can't mitigate. It's not for only rights and three or both the tongue It's also for big mobs to make sure you don't die at the first attack. Be at is one. But if that's too scary, time to become a glare mage, motherfucker. As long as they're alive and you're clearing the content, you're doing your job right. There is one caveat to doing your job right, and that's that everybody will hate you for it. Literally. By healing, you start to generate a lot of aggro from the bad guys. So if you ever decide to heal before mob pulls in dungeons, it's important to stick close to the tank like an ER. RP or sticks to Vieira's wearing 2B thigh highs. Especially if you throw on a region and suddenly 800 mobs crash through the wall with a How to Fry Fairies cookbook. You can still do it, but you should know what you're getting into. Like live streaming and hoping that anybody will watch. <laughs> As for your limit break, we heard you like healing, That's so we put try. more healing in your healing so you can heal while you heal. Unfortunately, you won't be using any limit break. Okay, before we talk about that, I'm going to talk about aggro because I know many of you don't know. Everybody will hate you for it. Literally. By okay, red icon, you are the main target. Yellow icon means you are going to be the next target probably i think it was and green icon is that they didn't notice you and that means you need to attack them because you haven't touched them so don't talk shit you haven't touched them uh all right first of all if you see red icon you know you have the the minagro and that means that the tank has to provoke them or attack them or have more aggro Uh, and that's good, because you know that you are better. Yeah. No, please. Don't, don't do, don't go fighting. This is not, uh, we're just in solo bringers. They actually fixed this, because I think even DPS is a lot of Dracula, and it was a nightmare. But to be honest, <laughs> I have seen many videos that, that, that they put uh, to everyone the aggro and to kill them, and that that's so fun but only with your friends um i used to to shirk on my healers when i was a tank when i got angry at them so i shook them and let them die yeah <laughs> that's also weird uh yeah i'm an like to play with but red icon is your made a in a target yellow you're doing right but probably be careful and green fucking attack, you are not doing anything good, dude. Also, Medica 2 also is a region and it's also taking aggro. So please don't go throwing Medica 2 before the mob. <laughs> I know you get the, the, the region normal, but Medica 2 is also a region. And this is the... In your limit break, we heard you like healing, so we put more healing in your healing so you can heal while you heal. Unfortunately, you won't be using any limit break aside from LB3 because LB1 and 2 just heal the party, and you already have plenty of band-aids and popsicles to do that on your own. Mm. LB3, however, is so potent in healing... Yeah, the, the, yellow thing, the, the yellow thing is the shield. Uh, 
Yeah, oh my god. Uh, the shield, it, it makes... That's why his scars are so, so, so great and unshaded because fucking shields protect your life. Uh, I, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> Uh, even as a tank, I didn't get so many. My 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 record was nine wounds, nine vulnerabilities, uh, and it was made with a friend to make sure I didn't die with shields and everything. So how the fuck did they do this? I don't know, but the the, the score is doing a great job, to be honest. And if you see, uh, it's it's actually with a critical. Uh, shield so it's the double size but yeah 16 bonus please don't be that guy yeah but we don't say about that healer uh how about you your cat i think i mean a vulnerable which <laughs> but yeah well at least they have a part that's that's better than most of my matchup Do that on your own. LB3, however, is so potent in healing it resurrects everybody in the party back from the dead instantaneously. But they will have to do the thriller afterwards, so it's best to be safe for when you at least have enough people to make a backup dancing crew. For the flavors of healer, we have three boomers and the new kid on the block who bought a Glock and has a TikTok. The white mage is the most straightforward. You heal when a buddy is hurt and you attack when they're not. Just about everything in your arsenal is all about feeding them so much it'll make an inflation artist blush in embarrassment. You're also equipped with the best AoE skill in the entire game and the ability to never run out. Yeah, that, that, that's true. I saw the circular. Uh, my holiest uh, friend told me uh, I actually was forbidden for a while to use holies in a dungeon for a friend because I spammed them too much. And to be honest, they have the best because uh, those two attacks, the first, well, those two skills, first of all, I use the first one when I I use this to to rest so I don't lose. <laughs> MP when I rest him because resting is the major cost of MP and healing AoE damage and heal AoE damage and doing MP that switch it's so what crazy I use it every time and the best thing it helps with Lilies <laughs> well it used to help with Lilies now it's better with the Lilies um and lots of healers have zero cost for example Q2 Cure 2, yeah. Cure 2 of, of what mage can get free Q. It's getting free Q and you get a normal Q. So you always, it's good to have always a Cure 1. So you can have a free Cure 2 in case of necessity. And people don't say that, but that's good. I mean, I have a friend that threw you away her Cure 1 as soon as it could. I told him, no, dude, just, just, just like use it when they are, when you are. And then a mob or anything, and let's use it. Or when you want to make sure to weave, and um, you can't attack because the boss is gone for a while, or it's doing a mechanic that you can target it, you could one at least to make sure everyone is a bit healed. And if you get cured, you oh, you have for a frame of a minute to actually use that healing free. If not, use the lilies and then blow the uh, blood lily. Not a mana unless you're really, really bad. Best of all, when your buddies get hurt, you can heal them to harness their blood for the blood lily. <laughs> but let's say you want to play white mage, but you like tarot readings and star signs like a suburban woman in her mid to late 20s. Astrology <laughs> is probably for you. You draw cards that will enhance the abilities of your party members, and you fill the arena with enough space dust and constellations that you'll need five layers of sunglasses to see. Taking this job will also teach you how to build a bomb. Don't worry, it's friendly. Scholar is a about Australian, I, I actually have a Australian to, to level 80. The first thing first, uh, we didn't explain thoroughly because they are watching in the mechanic. Uh, your cards, read your fucking cards. Like, really, uh, tarot reading, yeah, I, I do tarot, but read your fucking cards. You need to know what you do. And please, uh, if you see a DPS screen, yeah, please give me all your cards. No, you have to see with who needs who. If you see someone is going to die, don't give them a card, give game a kill. But that's it. Read your cards and read every single thing because it's going to be useful. Uh, you have even a supersonic fucking skill that lets you uh, not having any cooldown, oh, not having cooldowns 
on social attacks and not having uh, casting time, which I use it in panic attacks. For example, in for example, uh, for example, when we are doing near enrage that the boss is making too many audio attacks that could kill, I alternate between a uh, Helios or Spectre Helios and fucking Mal uh, Malefic. Just just rotate them. Just just make sure you you actually do this. Uh, because you have to keep them alive while making damage. So when you use this skill, I, I don't remember the name because I, it's been a while. It's good to use it because you actually are saving their bats. You are not wasting so many catch time. Um, you are actually making damage. That's the best thing, please. <laughs> Ah oh, well, they they take out the the diurnal and nocturnal, but that doesn't mean you have to be wary of it. But now you are uh, more a diurnal, so you don't have shields. But please try your best. I uh, I mean, fucking with the what they do the attacks because in Astrologian it's very important to know what you're doing. That more than um, what which you can later learn. Because it's easy. As Logan, you need to know. You need to know your card. You need to know your mechanics with the card. Because if you get stickers, because you have a stickers, if you get three same stickers, it's bullshit. But if you have one sticker for each, uh, you get to give everyone more damage. Yeah, you give everyone more damage if you get one of each sticker. So, please. Because I saw a friend that tried it and didn't learn about it. And it's a nightmare. Weirdo who used to hang out with all the bad DPS kids, but decided to turn their life around when they met a nice girl who supports them in their new hobby. Only problem is, she knows nothing about your hobby, and you have to keep correcting her on fandom trivia. They're all about putting shields and defensive buffs that protect the party from taking damage in the first place. That way, they can guess what? DPS even more. Also, your girlfriend can get sick and find. Well, a scholar. A scholar is fine. I played a scholar to, to level, actually, the stamina. Because I wanted to be Bahamut. To be honest, a friend of mine says um, I get really, uh, really noisy when I play Samana because I go Bahamut, Bahamut, <laughs> every time I summon it. Uh, this color is fine. And to be honest, you have the easiest way to make waves. Because uh, if you need MP, you can eat the fucking fairy. They are not specified in this. Because probably they, they will change it one day or not. Uh, you eat the fairy, you get MP, and you get Aeroflow. Aeroflow is going to be like Samana, the best way to manage resources to cast new spells. Yeah, did you see that? Uh, and when you use it, Aeroflow, uh, you get um, Morawi healing, which is better. Uh, without shields, of course. You get to put a shield dome that protects your allies, which is good to mitigate damage. And you get to put uh, a book in your friend that when they well, when they get less than 50% of the HP, they actually get healed instantaneously, like a bomb that heals to their friends, so it's better. And that's it, so please. <laughs> that's the best way to, to actually talk about Scholar. And the Fury now has two flavors, but they don't ma mind matter. Before in Sunblood, I know that one was for shields, another not. Oh fuck. Uh, there's a trap site. Uh, yeah. But let's go quick. Okay. Finally, the new kid on the block, the Sage, a scholar who decided to stop being nice and pick up a gun. That shoots <laughs> lasers! Like scholar, they also put shields and protective buffs on their party members so they can spend more time shooting lasers! How do they do this? After seeing Alphano change to the job, my guess is the Nullists are liquefied carbuncles. Rest in peace, Carby. <laughs> and now you know how to play healer, you're welcome. Now, for, for Sage, first of all, <coughs> in Sage, link with your tongue. You have to, you, you can link with your tank to make sure that they're he getting heals when you get healing, L like when you with Estroya, I think, which is good. And then, please, uh, this is important for you, you know, Pepsis. <laughs> no, but uh, check it well about the shields, 
because many of them require to, to also manage the resources. And this is not like, uh, for example, over time, like uh, fucking white mage or I don't know, uh, cards like they have a stickers or fucking airflow. This is something different. I, I haven't played Sage, but I know for a fact that to have to first a uh, photo skill on your tank, main tank mainly, if you're two Sage, it's main tank and the other uh, two off tank, so you don't do anything stupid and um, please check what you're doing before you are actually doing it I mean I know it's hard to read but you have to know what you're doing and this is a, a an actual part of me telling you this fucking have you always read at least in some place have you all be put on because I, I actually have to use it a lot. When I was doing Eden 4, Eden 4, yeah, eh, normal. No, not Savage. In Savage, I didn't have to. I had to abuse it. And I was playing with a fucking eh, laptop that was going 5 FPS with a thousand of FMS of lag. Yeah, 5 FPS. I, I, I used to, I, I used to play with fucking laptops and with a toaster so the first thing you need to know is that please check what you're doing have lb prepared in any case because also it actually also saved me in titania because i actually have to tell a friend to use lb and we could have we wouldn't have wasted so much time if he had to look for the lb button but because I told him to be prepared in any case, because in the last part of the ad phase, it's easy to have a wipe. And I actually made sure that my friend didn't die, so she could MLB3 as a healer. She got all the recommendation. <laughs> but that's the thing. Always be prepared. The rest of the fucking mechanics. If you don't know how to play them, I don't know, look for Larry's first videos and learn a bit or at least uh, look for the rotations to know how it works or fucking read the description and um, I don't know you have to be always be worried and don't develop that but complete don't be an asshole killers that are an asshole are easy to to get out that they actually get kicked out easily a friend of mine told me that was an has was an asshole as a killer she was an aesthetic um, because she became an asshole, uh, she got kicked out, and there's always need for healers. I know, but please, just because you're a healer doesn't mean you are better than anyone else. So that's it. Uh, um, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm, I'm starting as a new VTuber. <laughs> I didn't even debut yet. <laughs> uh, but I want to, to actually make videos now and then to, to get used to it before the debut. Uh, nice to see you all. Thanks for your comments in the various video. I mean, I, I'm really grateful. Uh, especially those who actually ask me. Yes, I'm from Spain, not from Mexico, it's Spain in Europe. If you don't know where is it, look for a map. <laughs> it's, it's not hard. Yeah, they want to, to do flamenco, bullfight, paella, paella. Please, no paella, paella. And if you want me sometimes to, to teach you Spanish or talk about the Spanish community, if you want to know more about how we play, uh, well, <laughs> here I am. I'm going to start playing as soon as I actually get money <laughs> to play for myself because, let <laughs> us say, that, that isn't easy. I, I just bought a new computer for my birthday, which actually let me dry because I used to play with a uh, toaster. <laughs> My computer actually couldn't even play Final Fantasy XIV. My last computer. So, uh, and I'm going to do some drawings of Final Fantasy. And I'm going to start drawing more. So please, nice to see you all. I think it was in Japanese. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Have a nice day. Season.